Hey guys, I just wanted to come and give you a little haul from, let's see, Friday. We went to a big yard sale that was like kind of an estate clean out. And then I hit um, a couple of thrift stores in a nearby city um, that I hadn't been to for a while. So they were some good stuff. Um, first off, at the little church thrift store, I found these cool pillows. Um, and if, I don't know if you can tell or not, but they're like upraised, um, these little sections here. And it's not double-sided. The other side's just plain with that fun pattern. But aren't those so cute? And they're huge. Um, and there were two of them. I just need to fix the button on this one. It's kind of loose. So those, I thought the material in those was so cute. Um, very 70s-esque, so I thought that was fun. I normally pick up these fans, and they're normally in gold, um, but these are kind of copper, so I thought they were cool, and there's a set of three, um, which I thought was neat. I've never really seen the copper. Also, normally they have hooks on one side, so you can hang it to the wall, um, so I assume, I don't know, you would add your own hooks, or I don't know how you would put these up, but they were just like the gold ones, so I don't know if the hooks broke or if they never were intended to have them, but I don't know how you would display them. But I still thought they were cool because of that copper feeling. I got this at the church thrift, and the colors on this are just phenomenal. The fringe is adorable. Um, I just thought it was so summery for a cute little patio table. Um, and it's round, of course, so it fits on those cute round little vintage metal tables. <laughs> I got a set of, actually not a set, um, they had just a stack of vintage pillowcases and so I sifted through and just picked the ones that I liked. Um, it was such a steal. They were 45 cents a piece. It's the cutest little church thrift store and a bunch of little old church ladies run it. So I picked up this pattern and this pattern. And there are two of these in the brightest, most beautiful orange and yellow and then a pair of these as well in that pretty blue flowery i picked up these magnificent skorts they're see-through 100 but they do have pockets um and they're so cute i they're um let's see what the brand is maryland togs i just i don't know they, they were so perfectly 90s i just i couldn't not they were so long um but i thought they were so cute and then I couldn't pass up this pair that was hanging right next to them. They are by Bon Worth, and they are also big flowy 90 shorts. But what sold them for me is the embroidered butterfly detail. No pockets on the front, but yes pockets on, or no pockets on the back, but yes pockets on the front. So I thought I would probably, I'll probably list those as a pair. Um, I've already talked about those. They didn't come from that thrift haul. That's the ugly Christmas sweaters and the 90 sweater with the shoulder pads. I found Pyrex at Goodwill for 99 cents. That never, ever happens. It's got some dings and flea marks, but I did buy that um, for my grandma because she's missing her, she broke her blue bowl. So I'm gonna give her that. It's still real shiny, not dishwasher damaged at all. And I mean, even in the camera right now, you can't, you can't even see those nicks really. So that was a good find. And I can't believe they had it for 99 cents because the Goodwill's gotten goofy on their pricing. I couldn't leave these behind even though they do have some chips because I thought they would be so cute to display like in a plate rack maybe. I'm trying to remove the sticker so you can see the motif on there because they put it right on the front of the plate which is odd. Normally they would put it on the back and cover up the maker but because these don't have a maker they decided to put it on the front right on top of the design. But aren't those so cute with the mushrooms and there's two of them. Um, so I just thought if somebody had a cute little plate rack in their 90 or in their 70s, 80s boho mushroom vibe home, that those would be so cute on a plate rack to display. The nostalgia hit me and I got this. My mom has had this hanging in her house for since I can remember when I was a little kid. She still does have it hanging. Um, so when I saw this, I had to pick it up. I just think it's so cute. The browns and the beiges and that old church and the country flowers. It's just, it's a whole boho vibe. So I picked that baby up. I got this cute happy birthday mug vintage and stoneware with the speckles which I always like it's perfectly new um, doesn't have a maker on the bottom or anything Let's see what else 
I got this butterfly trivet, which they put the sticker right on top of that. And I thought it was really cute. Lots of people collect trivets and they hang them on the wall. Um, so I like to pick different ones up. I got this pretty bowl. I think I've sold one like this before. Um, it's just decorative. It's by Dare, Long Island. And it's copyright 1971, so we know it's old. Um, and it's just got that pretty flower shape. It'd be pretty in the center, like as a center console for your coffee table or in your in your uh, kitchen, on your kitchen table. I got two of these. They're Franciscan. I just thought the pattern on those was pretty and they would be pretty in a plate rack also because there are two of those. I got this at the Little Church Lady Thrift. I thought the shape was cool. The color was bright and vibrant. And then I turned it over and it's Hager, which is fun. I went to the Goodwill and somebody dropped off their mother load of little decorative Japan plates because there was a blue million of them. So I just picked my favorite couple of ones. I thought that was cute with a little sparkly edge detail. I thought this was pretty. It's got one little, like it's like, it's like reticulated, but only in one place. Um, and I thought the patterning was pretty on that, the gold edge, the aqua base with the flowers are in. I thought that was cute. This, the gold painting is like upraised on that. So I thought that was really neat and pretty. There are two of these swirly plates with a flower in the middle. And then I don't know if this goes with it, but it kind of looked like it did because it's got those kind of swirly type whatever. Um, but this is Nasco Japan. And then this reticulated edge one, I think it's left in. Um, but I just thought it was pretty with that edging on there. And also at the Goodwill, more plates. Uh, these are have a reticulated edge also, um, and they're a set. So fruits. I like the pink and the green together. They do have their stickers, their art mark. Um, I hate that the Goodwill puts their stickers over the original stickers. Um, so I'm trying to rip, like pull it off without hurting that original foil Japan sticker. They don't, they just don't understand. They just don't understand the Goodwill doesn't. So see how they had their original foil stickers. I thought that was cool. And then these are Limoges. Um, and it had the serving bowl, a regular dinner plate, and like a serving plate. And yes, they're light, light pink with a real pretty floral motif on there. And then they are Limoges, which I just think is beautiful. The set of them is beautiful. That silver edging is beautiful. Um, and I know it's not a full set or anything and there is some crazing, but the plates are just gorgeous. I mean, they could be used for anything or maybe somebody has this pattern and they need some replacement pieces. So I picked those up. You know me and my love for plastic Comco things, so I picked up these roses for the wall. I thought they were cool. Um, kind of Victorian, kind of ugly. <laughs> Not ugly, but you know, just gaudy a little bit, but still fun because how old are they? That's cool. I found at the Goodwill some vintage lawn chair webbing. I always pick that up because it does sell for me because people redo those old lawn chairs all the time. Um, in the store, now listen here, this is a funny situation. In the store, my little black light picked these up as glowy glass. We got them home, we put them in the dark, um, and they did not glow anymore. So I, sometimes they glow, sometimes they don't, I don't know. And like you can see how if I turn it this way, you can't see any green. But as I bring it up to turn it this way, you can see on the bottom there, it's got a green cast to it. So. It's really strange. I don't know what they are. It's got some etching designs in it. I don't know if you can tell, but I went ahead and picked them up. They're like little, I don't know if those are brandy sniffers, brandy glasses. I'm not sure what they're for, um, but I picked them up thinking they were glowy because my black light told me so. And then I got them home and they didn't. So I'm not sure. This little guy is marked or stamped made in Japan. Um, I thought his little face was so cute. He's just a happy monkey. Um, and he's just a tiny little planter. So he came home with us. I picked up these two little Homco guys, or I think they're Homco actually. They don't have a sticker, so I don't know, but they have funny little faces and they look like a pair. So I picked them up to go together. Let's see, let's see. This was in a grab bag. I think it's old. Um, it's like a jeweled gold hair clip, um, like a 
clippy clasp clip, like a claw clip. So I thought that was interesting. I don't know if it's old, but I think it is. This precious ceramic Care Bear. I just think he's so cute. He's not marked with anybody's name or anything, which normally they would, um, but he's got the little heart on his backside. He's just so cute. He's got a cute face. So I thought somebody might want him. He could sit in the garden. He could sit inside. He could do whatever you want him to. I got her because she's Holly Hobby and it says, be glad you're you. That's a nice thing to be. And I just think that's a really cute little gift idea for somebody. Um, got the little animals on there. It's got no chips or damage. She's feeding the little cats and animals a bowl of milk. So she was cute. Um, this is probably Avon, although it isn't marked, but I, I just thought he had a cute face. A little basset hound and he's like brown glass. And he, I don't think actually that he is Avon. Oh yeah, he might be. I didn't think his head came off, but it does. So it probably was Avon, but he had a cute face. So he came home with me. Uh, this was also at Goodwill. It's Fenton. He was so pretty with a, a candle inside. Um, but even if not, it's pretty in the light. Um, it's like almost clear, sometimes purpley, sometimes bluish. Um, and it's just, it's such a beautiful color. That's why it came home with me. I don't normally pick up Fenton because I don't really know what it is or what I'm talking about or if it's anything good. Um, but I brought that home because the color is pretty. I got this. It's marked Highmark Japan. This is Happy Holidays from Highmark Japan. I don't, I need to research what Highmark Japan really even is. I know it's a company, obviously. Um, but then yesterday, see, I got this Friday and then yesterday I went thrifting with my friend Haley and... I found a little trinket box that matches this pattern, so I'm going to pair the two together. So stay tuned for the next video because you'll see the same pattern, same brand, Highmark, um, with a little lidded trinket dish that's going to go with this when they get listed. And I just think they're so pretty. It's like gold, and the detailing is just so neat. Um, and then the trinket box has the same motif on the top. Uh, let me see. This is also from the Goodwill. I just thought it was pretty. The coloring is pretty. That white streak in there is real neat. It's got the fluted flowery edge top. It has a like a polished kind of bottom. I don't know. I don't know if it's a vase. I don't know if it's a candle holder. But I just thought it was pretty. Um, let's see if there was anything else from the Goodwill. I don't think there was. Everything else came from the Little Ladies Estate Cleanout Garage Sale. So, you know, you guys know if you've watched any of my videos before, I always pick up a dish frog and he's got a cute face. So he came home with me. I picked up this cute lampshade. Um, let me see if I can break it real quick before we do anything. But I liked, oh, it's got a chip, chippy dip. Although you wouldn't see it because I'll show you in a minute how it, it goes on the ceiling. But I like the burst detail. Um, but it came with this hook, which needs a little touch of spray paint to make it back to its silver. But basically it goes there to screw it onto the ceiling and you can still see the little burst and then your light fixture hangs like this from the ceiling so I picked that up it was only a dollar so I guess if you know if, it, if that chip's really gonna hurt the value then I'm not out too much money I just thought it was cute because of the starburst motif picked up this little guy I always love all these little things that still have all the little hair that they came with um, usually you don't see the hair for some reason it falls off or gets broken off or whatever um, but he just had a cute little dirty face and he's a little vase down there he's not marked Japan but he does have that number stamp on the bottom which probably indicates something from Japan usually left in um, I got this little elfie guy who hangs and swings. Actually, I think this this probably needs, you know, raised up or tied up or knotted up or something so he can swing freely, but it's a little bud vase. Um, there's a cute little elf, or elf. There's a cute little bunny on the back um, and then the little elfy looking guy just swings. So he was cute. He is Stamp Japan. Let's see what else. I got a really cute little aqua green plastic tree topper. I actually got one that was red and silver from the same lady before. She did not have this one out when I was there the first time, um, or I would have probably listed them together, but that one already sold, the red and, and silver one. And actually, I think this one's in much better shape, So, and it's a fun color. So that one will be up soon. I got this pretty glass. I, I always like this opalescent pattern or coloring on any of these dishes, and I like that that's three little divided I don't know that it's anything special but I liked it so I picked it up 
see what else. I got this cool, like, I don't know if it's reverse painted. I don't know what that is. Cause it, it looks like the orange is between the layers of glass. Cause the inside's kind of white. The outside is clear, but it's like almost like in between there, there's orange. And then there's that wheat motif. The oranging around here is worn, but it's still a really pretty little vase. Let's see. I always pick up these when I find them because they do sell for me because they're pretty. It's plastic, so that's nice. It's sturdy um, as an organizer for your mail or your pens or whatever. It's made by Learner. And usually when I pick these up, they're dark brown. Um, but this one was a lighter color than I'm used to. So that was fun. I picked up, let me uncurl these. They're wrapped up in here in a, a nightgown that I bought. But these are marked Japan, and it's a set of these three birds red blue and green and they were neat I, they, usually a beak would be broken off or a wing would be broken off and none of them were broken which i thought was so cool this is a fenton trinket box um real pretty pink real pale pink so i picked that baby up <clears throat> oh there's something glass in there oh elephants i remember these little art glass elephant family um it's like a big one and they're so cute because they have eyes so a big one two kind of medium sized ones and then a little baby one so a set of four little elephants i got this vintage nighty with the tag still on it um let me get it straight for you it's real pretty got a tie right there in the front the tag's still on it, it says it was made by erica loren new york it's kind of sheer um, you know, under the bus line, and it's long, real pretty, real comfy and cozy and slick and smooth, good for summertime because that's cool and soft against your skin. I got a table runner that needs some love and washing because it's got some stains. I got a um, vintage Christmas tree stand that turns, plugs in and turns, um, and look how cute the glitter is on that, and it's metal. It's super heavy. Um, I'm guessing because of the mechanism inside that makes it turn. I got a set of four of these cute cloth napkins. They need laundering as well. Let's see. I got this pretty Linux trinket tray. I think you could use it for um, rings. Like you could sit it um, beside your sink and then you could put rings over the little stamen of the flower um, to hold them. It's marked Linux on the bottom. Let's see if I can break it. Uh -huh. I got the, oh, there's another elephant. There were five in the set. I didn't realize that. I thought that was only four. I got these cute drapes. There's four panels. Let me show it to you from the top here. Uh, pinch pleat drapes. I thought that pattern was so funky and wonderful. It's got a tag, but it's so old that the tag is totally wiped off and worn. They are lined. And I just thought that pattern was so tiki wonderful. So there's that there. Like I said, there's four panels and actually I could only find three in the bin I was digging through. And then the lady was like, Oh, I have the fourth one. She was using it as a tablecloth on one of the tables for her stuff. So that was a good one. She brought out that fourth one and let me take it out from under all of her stuff. I got this cute little shirt. I thought it was cute. It has the folded up detail, real thin and lightweight. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know if I'm going to sell it or wear it. The mister picked out this cool, vintage velvachine mickey mouse shirt um i thought these peacocks were super cool um wall art peacocks they need a good old dusting i don't know if you can see that dust hanging there but it is not pretty um there's no maker's mark it just says made in hong kong on a little sticker on the back um but i thought after a cleanup they could be really cool and there's two of them they face each other on the wall so those need a bath for sure i got this cool heavy silverware tray i thought that was kind of neat i wasn't actually going to get it but then it ended up i sat it down to think about it and then she just counted it so i just bought it we'll see if it sells i got this vintage pink um sweats appeal by toltex really soft vintage sweatshirt i'm gonna put my or the mister's gonna put my logo on it um so that I can wear that around in the winter time. And then the mister got this Chicago Bulls vintage Hanes oversized sweatshirt because he is into that 90s 
pop culture vibe. And that is everything for the Goodwills, the Little Church Thrift, and then the estate sale ladies clean out for her rummage. Um, and so that is all, I think. Stay tuned. I don't think I got anything big. I'm trying to think if there's anything like in the garage that was big from those sales. There's not. So stay tuned because the next video is going to be everything that I got on my shopping day. We were gone from 7 a.m. to 10.30 last night. Um, the Haley and I, my friend Haley and I from Sister Pickers, and we just picked all over um, a couple of cities. So stay tuned for the haul on that video. I'll show you what I got. And until next time, I'll see you. Take care. I did it again. Started recording before I was set up. There's your blooper.